how our Heavenly Father always provides the time, the manner, and the place of our death. The timing is always perfect because it is in God's hands. And that's why the Word of God says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? And then it continues by saying, But thanks be to God, who gives to us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is one of the most comforting words that can ever exist in the life of any believer. We are passing through this life for a very short time compared to eternity. Life is just a drop in the bucket compared to forever and ever and ever. And we have in this life an immortal soul in a mortal body. Now the immortal soul is where we are fed with the infallible Word of God. And therefore we should be of all people the strongest, the greatest, the most fantastic persons that walk the face of this earth. Because we have been given the greatest spiritual life in all of human history. There is nothing like it before the church age and nothing like it after the resurrection of the Lord and our resurrection, the rapture of the church. We have something that is absolutely phenomenal, the spiritual life. We have a system of doctrine and principles that are far, far greater than anything else in this life. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock in this auditorium, I'm going to say farewell to one of the great warriors of the faith that I have known for 52, almost 53 years. A lady, Mrs. Jessie Mary Kate of Houston. She wasn't always of Houston. She lived in Dallas, Texas, and that was where I met her. While I was doing my final work in my doctorate, I was given, by the grace of God, a church that was about to close its doors. They decided to stay open, and Reinhardt Bible Church is a very fine church today. When the Lord called me out of that church to come down to a situation which was desperate, here in Houston, and I do mean desperate, there were two families that came along with me, and one of them was the Kate family. I've known Mrs. Kate for many, many years. She is a very fantastic person. I know her family background very well. She came from a very famous minister in Chicago, Illinois. Our sympathy is extended to her four sons, James, Charles, Patrick, and David, and their wives, the wife of James, Lee Allen, the wife of Charles, Ruby Lee, the wife of Patrick, Mary Ann, the wife of David, Debbie, and their eight grandchildren, their and great grand, eight grand, great grandchildren, and so on. She entered into the ministry at Reinhardt Bible Church. She was a woman of great doctrine, great courage, great strength. She was one of the most fantastic persons. It was my pleasure to know. And in keeping with our study of the last two nights. She was always on the team. She had a great spiritual gift. She was truly a magnificent woman. 
So there will be a memorial service held here tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, and I will officiate. And then there will be a graveside service at which my son, Robert B. the III, will officiate. And this is by her own request. We have known her and her family, and she has known us and our family for many, many years. If I have a little difficulty tonight, it's because I do have a lump in my throat. But I'm going to continue teaching, as always, the infallible Word of God with the realization that it's what we have in our souls that count. And it's my responsibility as a member of the team to provide for you the doctrine, the principles, the concepts for the soul which will live forever and ever and ever. The body we will discard at the point of death. We will receive an interim body until the resurrection. And then at the resurrection, we will be and in a, have a soul that is eternal and a body that is eternal. This is a wonderful concept. And it is one that makes it possible for me, as your pastor, to always com provide comfort and strength for those who have lost their loved ones. In preparation for our study this evening, let us pray.